Hey guys, and welcome to another, um, well, you could call it a quick tip in the appetizer series. Um, after recording the last tutorial, it suddenly hit me, and I suddenly noticed why um, that class didn't really turn out the way I wanted to. And the solution is really quite simple. Um, for those of you who know how lenses work, um, you know that a lens that actually looks, let's just um, go to a new layer. If you have a UV sphere like this and you just scale that on the x-axis to 0.2. Right now you have a lens, okay? And with such a lens, the light rays would uh, come like this. And then they would be um, gathered, okay, at one point somewhere over here. Tsuck, tsuck. And um, that's a gathering lens, I, I, I assume, in English, I'm not sure. Um, and then there's the other type of lens, and this is a bit uh, annoying to model, so we're just going to do it this way. Shift D, let's move that to over there. And let's just imagine that this part in the middle would actually be the lens, okay? And if this part would be the lens, um, so this would be the mesh, and this would be um, empty space, which is too annoying to model just now, so then the, the rise would be come like this, and then they would actually be dispersed, okay? So that would be probably be a dispersion lens, I guess. And um, if we delete those two, if we come back to this layer over here, then you can see C1. That it's, that's actually the effect that's going on over here. You can see it becomes um, wider and wider towards the lower parts. And therefore, if a light ray comes in like this, it will then actually be um, um, redirected to, to over here. Okay. And um, yeah, over here as well. Again, that's why it always... You look from 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 this perspective from the camera it comes like this, tuck, 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 and that's why you always just see the floor. So the the way you change that is quite simple. Let's go into edit mode. Let's choose that word uh, that edge loop there. Let's just scale it out with. Uh, let's hit O to go out of um, out of proportional editing mode. Let's just S Shift C and just scale that up to just about I guess right there. And then let's take all those vertices there. And let's just scale them up as well, like so. And then let's just take the final ones. There's only two per thing. Is that correct? Okay. S Shift C as well over there. Let's move them to over there. And the same thing for those as well. S Shift C. Just a bit like this. Okay, that should be. Fine, now let's just select the water to edit mode. Let's select this whole upper part there. Without that part, of course. Let's go closer. You can actually see here the outline. Let's shift C. Let's just make sure that it's going to be just around there. Is that correct? That is correct. Same for that lower part over here. Only two again, okay. S shift C. No, three after all. S shift C. Until it's just about right there. And make sure uh, I didn't try it the other way, but it, it works quite fine if it doesn't actually touch um the the, the glass. Okay, the water's not supposed to touch the glass. And uh just see something only two, okay. And that's why I recommend leaving it that way. Um, and now this seems to be quite all right as well. So let's just give that a render again. Um, solid. Like so. And I guess you'll be surprised on how much better it looks um, in just a few minutes. Um, so yeah, let's hit F12 and I'm going to pause the recording once again. Okay, so it finished after four minutes. And you can see it looks much nicer now that you can actually see the horizon or whatever you want to call that. And yeah, so this concludes this short tutorial. I actually decided to call it um, Appetizer Series 8.1 because it basically belongs to the uh, last tutorial. I just forgot to mention or didn't think about it while doing the tutorial. And yeah, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, any kind of comments or questions, post them. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.